How's it going, Guardians? It is your boy Turkey here, again at SGN Hub, bringing you another video, but today we are going to be doing a DPS video. And this is a build uh, that I've been working on for quite some time. I don't even know if you would call it working on, I guess you could say I've really just been enjoying the spoils of it and just looking at the DPS numbers at the end of Dungeons and like Warlord's Ruin or Spire of the Watcher. And very rarely am I out damaged, whether it be Still Hunt, uh, Grand Overture, uh, you know, Warlocks, or whatever build that I've, I've came into recently, I haven't really been out DPS too often, especially if it's a you know a long long dps encounter and uh hopefully i can spotlight that for you guys today um and you enjoy the video uh if so be sure to obviously like comment subscribe but let's hop into it and let's start talking about our weapon setup and also the exotic pairings uh, now, based on the thumbnail, I'm sure that you see uh, an old-time favorite weapon of ours, especially in the D2 community, at least in my opinion, uh, is going to be incorporated in this, and it's honestly probably the, the biggest factor of it. Um, so it's going to be the Anarchy in our heavy slot. And the reason that we are using Anarchy is the idea is to have, in essence, two sources of almost heavy weapon damage perpetually happening. And whenever I say two sources of heavy weapon damage, I mean heavy comparable damage, like the damage is comparable to that of a heavy weapon. And we're talking, of course, about Warden's Law and the Lucky Pants combo. Now, prior to getting uh, into Lucky Pants and Warden's Law, let's talk about Anarchy and how we're using this in the build. It's very simple. Um, but whenever you're in a boss encounter or if you see a large target, the idea is to stick two of these bolts to said target and then swap to another weapon while that ticks constantly for damage. Now, whenever you have multiple sources of this, especially from something like Lucky Pants, you really get to stack up that damage and it just happens perpetually. It's just it's just constantly doing damage. And I think that's what I like the most about this is I'm not waiting for like a spiky point or a certain setup for it. It's just really something that can be uh, engaged and you just keep on doing the damage immediately. Um, if you look in the, the background gameplay, you'll see a lot of the damage results uh, from dungeons that I have been running. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to run this into, uh, you know, through Salvation's Edge, uh, but I'm sure that you could even swap the special spot in this uh, for something to be more suiting for that encounter. As of right now, I'm currently running Iterative Loop, and there's a reason for that, and that's usually uh, me running Warlord's Ruin or another encounter where the dungeon boss or whatever the boss isn't miles away and doesn't really require you to use something like a sniper rifle. Um, now, whenever you're doing something like The Witness, obviously, which is one of the more premier DPS encounters, you could have something currently like, uh, you know, the Uzume, uh, the Widow's Bite, or uh, the Ikelos sniper rifle in order to take advantage of those seasonal artifacts uh, like Sniper's Meditation and the Ignitions. But what we have going on with this is the Iterative Loop. And the reason we chose the Iterative Loop is just because it's a rapid fire frame, you get lead from gold, and I have a Volt shot in the secondary slot, there's no form of Vorpal weapon or anything like that that comes on the Cartesian coordinate. Unfortunate, I know, but it is what it is, and I think that the Nanotech Tracer Rockets actually uh, kind of makes up for the lack there of Vorpal. I know it's not a large percentage chunk of damage that you're getting extra out of it, but you're at least getting something out of it. And whenever you have Anarchy going and Iterative Loop at the exact same time, your super comes back so fast. So if you start a DPS encounter, you throw Gathering Storm or have your two Anarchy shots on the boss first, whichever one, the order doesn't really matter there. But you immediately swap to your Lucky Pants and you're going to be doing tons of damage. You'll watch the boss's health melt, you'll see your Gathering Storm proccing, you'll see Anarchy proccing, you'll see Lucky Pants with Warden's Law hitting for copious amounts of damage. And the only fall off that you really have in damage is whenever that Lucky Pants is on cooldown, which is when you'll see that out of luck indicator. Um, so as soon as you see that, you immediately swap to your iterative loop and you just start spamming. And the reason I like this is because of the super generation that you get from it. Uh, you can even see in the background how fast that super is just going up every time I land some of those fusion rifle bolts. And just something about that is really appealing to me. Uh, I did try a couple Uzume setups. I tried one with the Widow's Bite, uh, but I have a much better role on Uzume. Uh, so that was the one that I stuck with whenever I did manage to use that. But currently, until I believe they implement the reduced flinch in PvE, I, I just don't like having to run a reduced flinch mod. Uh, the flinch is just so crazy in PvE. And I know the appeal is really there for certain builds and, and certain encounters, but it's just not something that I can find myself getting used to, at least not yet. So that's why we are rocking the iterative loop in our special slot. Um, obviously, in our primary slot, we have the Warden's Law Adept. 
Uh, I have fourth times charm and Vorpal. I'm not sure if this is the quote unquote god roll. I'm sure, I think you can get Frenzy uh, in the other slot, but I just prefer Vorpal. I, I don't know. I think I'm not sure the exact amount that it gets enhanced on uh, Ward's Law, but it's just reliable. And I know that I'll do a little bit extra damage to bosses. Um, if you don't have this, this is obviously a Nightfall Ward. You can also get the regular Warden's Law, non adept. It's not like it doesn't roll with these. You just can't get those perks enhanced. Um, but yeah, that's the Warden's Law. And we have Lucky Pants, obviously, uh, as our exotic. Now, the Weapon Surges, I guess, are... You could change those depending on what subclass you're using, but I primarily use Gathering Storm, and I have been doing some testing with uh, Prismatic as well, using Gunpowder Gamble in that rotation, because I don't necessarily, you know, you don't have Gathering Storm, but you do have the Revenant Super, so you get a, an extra chunk whenever you're playing that on Prismatic nonetheless, but I just really enjoy uh, playing uh, Arc Strider, that's just, I don't know, it's, it's been a class that I've had a lot of fun with, and I just like the interactions of the Arc uh verbs in the game you know the that was it arc 3.0 2.0 i think it's 3.0 whatever point oh i like arc and i really enjoy it um but like i said the weapon surge mods are you know that that can be changed i just prefer to either have two or three arc weapon surge mods and then one kinetic if i'm going to go two arc surge i'll do one kinetic for the uh the warden's law or i'll just do triple arc um we have obviously two arc reserves uh in our our chest slot and arc reloader in our secondary slot primarily for the iterative loop um just because i mean you shouldn't have to reload your anarchy that much while in the encounter the idea is to shoot two then fire your warden's law and then by the time warden's law has that damage buff running out like you just you just pop two more immediately switch to iterative loop every time you reload and you're swapping the idea is just to refresh those anarchy shots um in our head slot we just obviously have heavy ammo finder special ammo finder uh, I have those two swapped just because on my fusion rifle, I do have lead from gold. So that makes the ammo economy uh, just a lot more forgiving on this. Uh, and the Anarchy did get a buff not too long ago for its reserves. So you have quite a few shots in that. So you're not worrying about starving for ammo on this build. And um, there's really not much to say other than it's just consistent. It's fun. And I enjoy it even just in just like running through general purpose ads, especially using the Volt Shot Iterative Loop. It's, it's not like something I'll put on just just for you know a dps encounter this is something that really it's like a i don't i guess the best way to say it, it would be like a swiss army knife build you could run this build with prismatic and you'd be fine and i think almost all forms of content like i i truly do believe that uh but if you want to run it primarily for dps i think arc strider is the way to go just because of how much damage gathering storm does and how how much it just kind of plays into the perpetual damage being applied by things like anarchy Warden's Law, Iterative Blue, just the constant damage. Uh, I don't really think there's much more I can really talk about with this build other than just, you know, letting some of the gameplay, you know, speak for itself. Hopefully you give it a try. Uh, I know we're in a still hunt slash Whisper of the Worm meta, especially with Sniper's Meditation, but I would argue that this out DPSs them like in any long engagement. I, I really believe that just if, if it's set up properly, you will just, you're doing too much damage. I think you have your super set up it's not a one go still hunt just got nerfed so you're, you're doing constant heavy damage in a way you either have lucky pants procked with warden's law or you have at least anarchy constantly procking along with your special ammo and i just think that is just super slept on and i hope you guys give it a try because i know i'm having a blast with it i've been in encounters with you know friends that are a little, little bit newer to the game and they were only able to do like one mil two mil and we still got through in one phase because i was able to pump out 9 mil or 8.9 mil and you know i just think it's really user friendly a really easy rotation to get into and if you have anarchy and warden's law and everything for this setup i don't really see any issue in not trying it so yeah it's your boy turkey here at sgn hopefully you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe peace